Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see how to set up VS Code for Salesforce org. So in this video I will explain how to connect VS Code to your Salesforce org. For that we will go step by step. I will suggest you watch the video till the end because if you miss any step you will face the error. So the first step is you need to download and install VS Code to your system. To download the VS Code open the browser. Here you need to search download VS Code. Here you can see the official website, click on it and here you can see we have different OS available and you need to download the VS code according to your OS installed in your system. Here we have different OS, I am downloading for Windows. For that click on Windows and here you can see download has been started. When the VS code get download you need to install it. I have already installed for that I am cancelling this. Here you can see I have installed VS code. Then the second step is you need to download and install Salesforce CLI. Now first we will see what is Salesforce CLI. The Salesforce CLI is a tool that helps developers for Salesforce projects and integrates well with tool like Visual Studio Code. Now what does CLI do? So using the CLI we can manage the org that means we can create project and then we can connect VS Code to the Salesforce org. Then using CLI we can deploy our code to the Salesforce org or we can retrieve our metadata from org. And then retrieving the metadata means we can fetch Salesforce component like classes, visual force pages from the Salesforce org to the VS code. And we can also manage the Salesforce developer experience project using Salesforce CLI. Now I will show you how to install Salesforce CLI. Now first I will show you how can we check whether CLI is installed in our system or not. For that open the command prompt. And here you need to search for SFDX and then press the enter key. Now here you can see sfdx is not recognized as internal or external command. This message you will see. Now we will install the Salesforce CLI. For that open the browser and here you need to search for Salesforce CLI. Open the official website. Here also we have different OS. You need to download Salesforce CLI according to your OS installed in your system. I am installing for Windows. And here we have option Windows 64 or Windows 86. Here I am downloading for Windows 64. As you click on it, download will start. Let's wait for downloading. Now this file we have downloaded, open this file. Now to install the CLI, click on S button. Here is the destination folder, that means here you want to install this CLI. And ensure that you have to install this CLI to the drive where your OS has installed. Here I am installing in C drive and then click on install button. The installing process has started. Now once the installation complete click on close button. Now again open the command prompt so that we can check CLI successfully installed or not. Then here search for SFDX and press enter key. Now here you can see version and usage that means our Salesforce CLI has been successfully installed. Now move to the next step. We need to install Salesforce extension pack. Now before that I will explain what is Salesforce extension pack. The Salesforce extension pack for Visual Studio Code enhances the development experience by providing tools specific to Salesforce. That means after the installation of Salesforce extension pack we can code for Apex then Visual Force pages then Lightning Web Component. Then we can deploy or retrieve metadata from Salesforce org. Then we can debug our code and there are many more code quality tools. Now I will show you how to install Salesforce extension pack to the VS code. For that we need to open VS code. Now here you can see in the sidebar we have extension option. Click on it and then in the search box search for Salesforce extension pack. Here you can see Salesforce extension pack. I already installed Salesforce extension pack. For that I don't have this install button. If you didn't install already you will get install button. You need to click on install button here. After the installation you will see an uninstall button and then disable button. And in the details you will see Apex and then other tools. Now our fourth step is we need to create Salesforce project and the folder. So first we need to create Salesforce project and under that project we can create our classes, web pages and then LWC components. And then that project we need to save to the particular folder. So first we will create folder here. I am creating new folder. I am giving name Salesforce project. 
then open the VS Code. To create the new project, you need to click on view button and here you can see we have command palette, we need to open this. Or you can open command palette using Ctrl Shift P. Here is the command palette and here you can see we have some SFDX commands. Now this is the use of Salesforce CLI installation. If you didn't install Salesforce CLI, these commands will not appear here. Now to create the project, we need to search for SFDX colon and create project with manifest. Then select standard template and then you need to enter your project name. Here I am entering Salesforce development and then press the enter key. And now we need to select folder that we created on the desktop. Here I created Salesforce project and then click on create project. Now here you can see Salesforce development project and under that project you will see different different folders and as you open 4SF folder here you can see we have applications then aura components then classes and then here LWC components also objects then permission sets as you click on classes here we don't have any classes in the VS code because till now we didn't connect our VS code to the Salesforce org now for that we have fifth step in the fifth step, we need to connect VS Code to the Salesforce org. Now I will show you how to connect VS Code to the Salesforce org. For that, again we need to open our command palette. And here we need to search for sfdx colon authorize and org. Here you can see command authorize and org, click on it. And then here we have different option, project default, then production, sandbox and custom. Here I will show you project default. For the production org, you can select production or project default also. Then if you are using sandbox, here we have option sandbox and then custom URL also. Here I am connecting this VS code to this production org. For that I am clicking on project default. And then you need to enter any alias. After that you will be redirect to the login page and here you need to login with Salesforce credentials. After login successfully, you will get authentication successful message and then you can close the login page. Again I am opening VS Code. Now after the connection between VS Code and Salesforce org get successful, here you will see the default org. Now we have successfully connected to our Salesforce org. Even though as you click on classes, you will not see any classes that we created in the Salesforce org. Now for that we need to follow the last step which is retrieve component from org to the VS code. That means the classes, visual force pages, permission sets that we created in the Salesforce org, that component we need to retrieve from org to the VS code. Now for that under the project folder, we have this manifest folder, you need to click on this and then you will see package.xml. You need to open this package.xml and then you will see some code over here, apex classes, apex component, apex pages, then apex test classes. Now what you need to do, you need to right click on this code and here you can see we have option sfdx retrieve source in manifest from org. That means we want to fetch our classes visual force pages from the org to the VS code. Retrieve this source from org successfully ran. Now here you can see under the classes, we can see all classes that we created in the developer console. Now this is how you can connect your VS code to the salesforce org and retrieve the component from salesforce org. Now we will see one apex program. To fetch or retrieve account object records from salesforce org and display them in the vs code. For that first we need to create apex class then we need to deploy it to the org and then we can execute the class that we created. Now first we will create apex class. Here is the vs code and now to create the apex class you can right click on this folder and here you will see create apex class. The another way is to create apex class click on view menu and then open command palette. Here we need to search sfdx colon create apex class. Here you can see create apex class command click on it and then we need to enter class name. Here I am entering fetch account records and then press the enter key. Now here you need to select class location. Here I am selecting default that means force app. For that click on enter and now here we will see the fetch account record class has been created. 
now this is the constructor we don't need this here i am creating one function so that we can fetch the account records for that public static and method name and method name account records now under this function we need to create sql query so that we can fetch the account records sql is similar to the sql which is used for query the data and to store the records that we fetching from account records here i am creating list list account and then list name equal to and here we need to write the query under the square bracket select then which fields you want to retrieve from account object here id then name and then ratings from then the object name account and here i am giving limit so that only limited records we can fetch 10 and then then close the square bracket and then semicolon and as we created a static function we need to return something here we need to return a list where we store the records that we fetch from the account object semicolon now we need to create function to display the records that we have fetched for that here i am creating new function public static void display records open close parenthesis and then curly braces now first we need to store records that we have fetched from account object in the account record function we need to create variable here i am creating list then account then list name acc record list and then function name where we store the account records semicolon and now we will create for loop in that loop we will create account object instance account object then acc is the instance colon and now the records we stored in the list that records we need to assign to the instance that we created from account object here we stored account records in the acc record list open the for loop and now to display the records we need to write system dot debug which field we want to display account name colon acc dot name this acc is account instance and the name is account field api name that we created in the account object then concatenation operator then account id again acc dot id ratings then close the parenthesis and then semicolon now save this apex file by pressing ctrl plus s yes. and now we need to deploy this code to the salesforce org we need to right click on this code editor and then here we will see deploy this source to the org that means deploy this code from vs code to the salesforce org click on this and here you will see deploy this source to org successfully ran now we need to execute this code for that in the folder list as you scroll down here you will see the script folder you need to open this script folder and then apex folder and here you will see hello.apex you need to open this hello.apex file and from here we can execute our code for that enter the class name fetch acc records dot the function name or method name that you want to execute here we want to display the records for that display records then enter and then semicolon now here we want to execute only this line for that select this line and then open the command palette by pressing ctrl shift plus p and here we need to enter sfdx colon execute anonymous apex with currently selected text click on this 
here you can see execute anonymous apex successfully ran as you increase the output screen now here you can see account name then account ids and then ratings has been successfully fetched this is how we can fetch the records or this is how we can create the apex code in the vs code to retrieve the data from salesforce org to the vs code now i hope you have understood how to set up vs code for salesforce org in that i have explained step by step how to download vs code and then how to download and install salesforce cli then salesforce extension pack then how to create project and folder then how to connect code to the salesforce org then how to retrieve a component from salesforce org to the vs code then i have explained one example using apex class how to retrieve data from salesforce org to the vs code so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you